you need to be able to distinguish between evaporation and boiling. Now, we know when we have a liquid that there are many different molecular speeds. Here we have a, a little graph to show a little graphic, the distribution of the speeds of the different particles. We have very few moving at a very high speed, um, more moving at an intermediate speed, a great number in a fairly slow speed and very few at a very slow speed. And we have a distribution which looks like this. This is the maximal speed distribution. So there are, um, in any liquid, there will be some particles that will be moving very slowly and some particles will be moving very, very quickly. But on average, it will be somewhere in the middle here. So if these are the average speeds, it will also give us the, um, the, the uh, kinetic energies, since the kinetic energy um, half of v squared. So these particles do not have all have the same kinetic energy. There are a few that have a very high energy. Now the temperature is a measure of the average random kinetic energy of the particles because there, there is such a spread in the kinetic energies. So these are particles which have, there are some particles that have greater than the average kinetic energy and, and if they are near the surface of the liquid what they will happen is that they will have enough energy to break away from the surface of the liquid. This is evaporation. So this is a liquid which is not at boiling point, is lower than boiling point, but the, the faster moving particles, the ones with more kinetic energy, will have enough energy to be able to, um, to break free from the surface of the liquid. This is evaporation. When you have boiling, what happens is that all the thermal energy supplied goes to increasing the potential energy of the particles, not to raising it. It reaches a maximum temperature. So there's no temperature rise and it only changes state. So we have to distinguish between evaporation and boiling. Both occur when the liquid changes state from liquid to gas. Because energy is needed and it turns into, uh, and it's given to the potential energy. Evaporation happens at a range of temperatures up to the boiling point. It's basically because the faster moving particles with more kinetic energy have enough energy to break from the intermolecular forces and they are able to leave the surface of the liquid. So this is a surface phenomenon. Boiling, this is when the liquid is at a maximum temperature, which is called the point, where the thermal energy supplied goes into increasing the potential energies of the particles and not the kinetic energy. It's at a fixed temperature and this happens throughout the liquid. So it changes state throughout the liquid. So bubbles can be forming at the bottom of a beaker, on the sides of a beaker and also bubbles can be forming on the top. This is when it is boiling. If more thermal energy, it only increases the potential energy of the particles. In other words, causes a change of state or more bubbles.